In this lesson, we'll learn about the calculations of uncertainty. At first, we'll learn uh, some basic rules about uncertainty. So, if uh, we have two variables over here, x and y, we can write uh, x and y are uh, length. So, I have the length x, which is 3 plus minus 0.5 centimeters, and y would be 2.5 plus minus 0.1 centimeter for example here uh, the measurement uncertainty is this value over here so the 0.5 and 0.1 are the measurement uncertainty of x and y respectively now if i have a variable which is x plus y if i want to find their uncertainty if there is an addition or a subtraction we add or subtract the measurement uncertainty so we add the measurement uncertainty even if there was a subtraction over here so for this uh, the measurement uncertainty of the variable x plus y so the measurement uncertainty for x plus y is 0.5 plus 0.1 which is 0.6 centimeter this is the measurement uncertainty for x plus y the same uh, would be for x minus y for x minus y the measurement uncertainty will still be the same 0 0.5 plus 0 0.1 which is 0 0.6 centimeter so now if i want to find the percentage uncertainty of x plus y i have the measurement uncertainty of x plus y which is 0 0.6 divided by x plus y the value for it which is 3 plus 2.5 or 5.5 multiplied by 100 percent this value comes out to be uh, 11 percent and if i want to find the percentage uncertainty of x minus y in the denominator we'll have 3 minus 2.5 which is 0 0.5 the numerator will still be the same 0.6 and multiply it with 100 percent we have a percentage uncertainty of 120 percent over here extreme cases like this should not appear on your exams but this is just an example now this is for addition and subtraction if i had multiplication so if i had x and y multiplied together or x and y in division will add their percentage uncertainty so percentage uncertainty of xy is equal to the percentage uncertainty of x plus the percentage uncertainty of y so if i have them in multiplication or division form i'll add their percentage uncertainty which will be equal to the combined percentage uncertainty for instance if i had x square y cube this will be two times the percentage of two times the percentage uncertainty of x plus three times the percentage uncertainty of y this is because x square is basically x multiplied by x so this the percentage uncertainty of x multiplied by x will be the percentage uncertainty of x plus the percentage uncertainty of x again so basically two times the percentage uncertainty of x and we have a y cube as well so three times uncertain uh, the percentage uncertainty of y so for this example if i want to find the percentage uncertainty of x y i'll do that so i'll need to find the percentage uncertainty of x and the percentage uncertainty of y before we go on so for x the Percent, uh, the measurement uncertainty is 0 0.5 the measured value is 3.0 and I multiply it with 100 we get a percentage uncertainty of 16.7 uh, 17% percent. and for y we get a percentage uncertainty of 0 0.1 divided by 2.5 multiplied by 100 it's 4% uh, so the percentage uncertainty of x y is 17 plus 4 which is 
21% and the percentage uncertainty of x divided by y will be the same this will be 17 plus 4 again so 21% so this is the case over here when we have an addition or subtraction the measurement uncertainty is the sum of the individual measurement uncertainties and when it's in a multiplication or division the percentage uncertainty is the sum of the product uh, sum of the individual percentage uncertainties uh, not product the sum so we add the percentage uncertainty to get the actual percentage uncertainty now we'll have another uh, type of question that is uh, common for physics unit 3 and 6 and that's to show that a uh, value that we have calculated matches with a data book value. You'll find questions like this in every single physics unit 3 and 6 question papers of the most recent specification for it Excel. In these types of question, you have a value that you are calculating and a uncertainty for it and from that you have to compare it to a given value and make a statement or uh, make a conclusion statement. This question from uh, January 2023 is an example of this. In this question, uh, we were given that uh, the percentage uncertainty in a calculated value of density of a modeling clay is 4% which we uh, calculated to be 17 10 kg per meter cube this was calculated in a previous part of this question and then we have a value we are comparing it to the value we are comparing it to is 1760 kg per meter cube so for questions like this we have two different methods we can approach it with one of them is the percentage difference method and the other is the range method so if we do the percentage difference method at first uh, we have to compare the percentage uncertainty and the percentage difference in this case so the percentage uncertainty is given four percent over here in some other questions we might have to find the percentage uncertainty ourselves now we have to find the percentage difference the percentage difference is the larger value minus the smaller value divided by the data book value the data book value over here is 1760 if we don't have a data book value to compare it to we'll uh, take the average of the two values on top for the denominator in this case we have a data book value so we don't have to uh, deal with that so from here we find the percentage difference to be 2.8 percent if the percentage difference is smaller than the percentage uncertainty we can support the statement so the modeling clay over here could be made of polymer clay. So this is the case. If the percentage difference is greater than or equal to the percentage, if the percentage uncertainty is greater than or equal to the percentage difference, we can support the statement. And if the percentage uncertainty is smaller than the percentage difference, we cannot support it. Now moving to the range method. There are two different methods to the same uh, type of problem. Uh, both of the methods have their strengths and weaknesses. Uh, you could learn either one of them, but it would be better if you know how to use both of them. Now for the range method, we can find the maximum value of the density and the minimum value of the density by adding and subtracting 4% of the value the value we got was 1710 so we add seven uh, four percent of it to get the maximum density which is 1780 and we subtract four percent of 1710 to get the minimum density which is 1640 kg per meter cube now if the value we are comparing it to the data book value falls within this range over here we can support the statement so if the given value is in this range, so this is the given value and it does fall in this range. It's below 1780. It's somewhere around here. 
between 1640 and 1780 so we can support the statement over here so the same as uh, we reach we draw the same conclusion in both methods and we write down that the modeling clay could be polymer clay and that's it for this video